Hello everyone, this is Chrissy here. Um, I've been debating on making this video in about five, six different ways. So I guess this is the one I decided upon. Um, it's been a really rough year for me, and I feel like everything's kind of been going downhill for me emotionally. I haven't gone through a lot of changes, or a lot of things in my head. I used to be able to keep it all bottled up and ignore it, but it's been really, really hard to do that lately. Um, everything seems to trigger dysphoria or sadness lately for me. And even though I first created a quietity as a means to display my true self online, so I can hide it in real life, I, I guess I just really thought it would be a good substitute for being me in real life, and it's just really not. Because uh, quietity really isn't like a VTuber persona like I see a lot of people do. It's my real self since no one in real life knows who I am um but yeah it's just it's just not seem to be it just doesn't seem to be working anymore it's just gotten really bad some nights where I'm just literally lying awake crying in bed next to my wife and she tries to console me but it's I, I feel like nothing really helps um and since her comforting me really doesn't seem to help. I think it makes her sad, which makes me feel worse, and that's just a never-ending cycle. But thank you, sweetie, for always trying, because it, I really appreciate it. I love you. Uh, I guess most of the problems just stem from the fact that I can't bring myself to come out to people I know. I don't know if it's anxiety. I just always feel like they're disappointment, judgment, just repercussions for being trans, everything will just hit me, my family, and make everything in our life worse. I mean, I'm in a position where, you know, job-wise, I make pretty good money. It's just, I can't be me at work, if that makes sense. It's just, it's hard to describe and put into words. Um, yeah, I've even at work, I will feel really close to someone, and then I'll be like, well, I might come out to them someday and tell them, but then they'll say something homophobic, transphobic, something horrible, and I just have to kind of cross them off the list of one of the type of, one of the people that I feel like I can, you know, come out to. Even though I am lucky to have such an awesome wife that sticks with me through everything, I feel like I'm not progressing to who I actually want to be. And because of that, I find myself getting into a lot of bad moods lately, and usually it's just the silliest of things. Getting misgendered at work by someone. I mean, it, it could be someone coming in with a cute outfit on, then I kind of just get envious that they can do it and I can't. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of stupid things that just get in my head. Um, and it's weird because there are days that I either say something, I wear something, or just have something that should, I feel like, give me away. And it doesn't. And I, some days I just kind of want everyone to put the clues together so I don't hide anymore. But uh, people really just don't want to see what they don't want to believe, I guess. I mean, my keychain for work has a trans flag on it, which I keep openly out and about. So unless they just don't know what a trans flag is, I feel like that should give them some kind of a clue. Um... At home, my gaming PC is pink and blue. We painted my bedroom pink. I mean, there should be a... My main headset I use is a pink headset with bunny ears. I mean, I just feel like a lot of these should just tell people. Lots of days I go into work and I have kind of very girly colored scrunchies, if that makes sense, in my hair. I'll even make jokes about being a girl and having long hair sometimes. I mean, it's just... Everything just seems to go over their head. But anyways, um, I feel like I'm ranting. Uh, the purpose of this video is to talk about pretty much the future of my channel. Um, a few days ago, it was about 2 in the morning, I tweeted about permanently stepping away from YouTube, and I really meant it to, and as far as I know, I still might. We'll see how it goes, but I have given a few days to think about it because I don't like to do things spur the moment when you're in the emotion, because I feel like you make bad decisions. Uh, in my life, I feel like as long as I am working a regular job full of people I have to have face-to-face -face communication with, and, you know, I feel like they're going to judge me if I come out, or things they say distracts me, things like that. So I feel like as long as that happens, I can never be the real me. 
So, um, I thought of all these different alternatives. Um, yes. <coughs> Kia. My dog barking in the background. Dumb car had to honk. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Since I feel like I can't come at a real job, my only option really is to find some way of, I guess, being self-sufficient and supporting myself with my own work. and So I don't have to, like, work in a place, if that makes sense to anyone. So, um, I have decided to make a video game. And I will hopefully get to the point where I can sell it. It does star a trans person, and it's supposed to be... It's somewhere it's a hybrid between Pokemon and a card battling game. But... I'm still kind of in the art phase, so I'm still doing all that kind of stuff. But I, I hope someday it will enable me to have a way to, you know, have a job where I can be me during it. Oh, this is just really a long, drawn-out video, but I'm not going to redo it. But yeah, so I, I won't give up on the game. Uh, if people want to know about it, I might go ahead and make a video about it when it's further along. But yeah, here... <coughs> ah, okay, sorry. But here's what I decided. Let me get a drink. Should have got water and just had a cherry Coke for my job. Um, instead of abandoning my YouTube channel, I think I'm going to switch to start streaming on Twitch. That way, if people want to help out the channel financially or just talk to me directly, things like that, talk live... They can do so easily. Um, I still have to think about and figure out all the overlays and everything, so I don't know when it will actually start. I will also probably put the streams onto YouTube. I might edit them or leave them full yet. I don't know. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much most of it. Um, if people want to contribute to my Twitch stream when it's live... It'll help me out transition-wise. But I will always stand by. If someone cannot afford to donate, please don't donate to me. There's people in a lot worse financial situation than I am in. But, yeah, that's it. Um, I've tried multiple times in the last month or so to make a video. And I've made about, God, seven, eight different videos. And either I get discouraged in the middle of it or my mood changes and I just, yeah, it just doesn't work out. But I hope someday I can support myself on this so I can actually be me during it, if that makes sense. Then I don't have to worry about what people think. I'll just, I might also just go ahead and shed my VTuber persona. If I ever hit the point where I can actually be me on camera, then that'll, that'll be a nice, nice, that'll be a good day. But I feel like I have to get a little better at makeup first. I only know some basics and I get jealous of a lot of cis girls and their ability to do makeup and they leave me in the dust. But yeah, that's it, I think. So, sorry if this is long, drawn out, and a big mess. Kind of just went on and on. But once again, thank you to everyone who has helped my channel and who has ever helped my channel with either comments or any other kind of support, even during when I was computerless and everyone helped me get a computer. Um, I will still try and answer any comment that comes across my eyes. Someday, if I ever hit the point where I am... You know, it's my head's a mess. Sorry. If I ever feel like there's a point where I'm going to be great money wise and I have extra money, I would love to give it away to the community. That's just a goal of mine, but it didn't really happen with my YouTube channel. But yeah, so if anyone comments, I will still answer every comment that I ever see. And so hopefully everyone will see me in some capacity in the near or distant future. Until then, I will just say, uh, I guess, thanks again to everyone who's been with me. And I appreciate the support more than you could possibly realize. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.